This morning, a former Department of Justice official is lashing out at the FBI after agents raided his home. I don't recognize the country anymore with these kinds of Stasi-like things happening. Jeffrey Clark says he answered the door in his pajamas when FBI agents came to his Virginia home around 7 a.m. Wednesday. I opened the door and asked for the courtesy to be able to put some pants on uh, and was told, no, you got to come outside. So uh, I came outside. They swept the house. Eventually, they let me go back inside and uh, put the pants on. According to Clark, the agents searched his house for more than three hours. It's unclear what they were looking for. Clark says the agents took electronic devices. Clark was in charge of the Justice Department's Environmental Division under former President Trump. Just as word of the raid on his home surfaced yesterday, the January 6th committee revealed evidence claiming Clark was at the center of an effort by Trump to get the Justice Department to falsely claim there was voter fraud during the 2020 election. The committee showed a letter Clark drafted to the state of Georgia. This letter claims that the U.S. Department of Justice's investigations have, quote, identified significant concerns that may have impacted the outcome of the election in multiple states, including the state of Georgia. Three days before the attack, witnesses of an Oval Office meeting say Trump proposed making Clark the head of the Justice Department after Clark said he would help Trump reverse the election results. According to the committee, the White House then started referring to Clark as acting attorney general. But Trump didn't go through with it because others in the department threatened to resign. I said, Mr. President, we resign immediately. I'm not working one minute for this guy. You're going to lose your entire department leadership. Every single AAG will walk out on you. And Jeff Clark will be left leading a graveyard. Clark was interviewed by the committee but refused to answer questions. Meanwhile, a former Justice Department official testified that after a 90-minute conversation about the election not being rigged, Trump eventually asked him to, quote, just say the election was corrupt. He responded very quickly and said, essentially, uh, that's not what I'm asking you to do. What I'm just asking you to do is just say it was corrupt and leave the rest to me and the Republican congressman. The committee also named six Republican members of Congress who say they asked for presidential pardons, including Congressman Matt Gates, Mo Brooks, Louie Gohmert, Andy Biggs, and Scott Perry. All of them spread false claims about Joe Biden's victory. Perry's office calls the claim a soulless lie. Mo Brooks didn't deny the pardon request, but said it was unnecessary after all. And while Gates hasn't denied the pardon request, he dismissed the committee as a political sideshow. Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger ending yesterday's hearing with this statement. The only reason I know to ask for a pardon is because you think you've committed a crime. And last night, the chair of the January 6th committee saying he can prove those pardon requests were made. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.